Hi, my name is Bethany, and I'm the youth pastor at Relevant Life Church in Salem, Oregon. I'm so excited that Youth Convention is less than three weeks away, and I'm so excited that you've been joining us the past three weeks as we cover this event in prayer. This week, we're going to be looking at the verse Zechariah 4.6 for this week's prayer strategy. Zechariah 4.6 says this, Not by might and not by power, but by the Spirit, says the Lord. This was a verse that was given prophetically to a man named Zerubbabel. Zerubbabel was a Jewish man who was put in charge of leading home the captives from Babylon to their home. There was over 42,000 Jews that Zerubbabel was put in charge of leading home. And in addition to that, he was put in charge of rebuilding the temple. Now all of us know how big and magnificent the temple was and how big and challenging this task must have been. This was something that required Zerubbabel to repair the damage and to find new supplies and resources and to coordinate volunteers and people to do the labor. And just like Zerubbabel had this task, we have the task this year to plan and coordinate Oregon Youth Convention. There's volunteers that need to be coordinated and as we make final details and logistics and deadlines this next few weeks, there's so many final preparations to be accomplished. But just like God spoke to Zerubbabel, it's not by might, it's not by power, but it's by the Spirit. He's speaking that same thing to us. It's not by any effort of man or any amount of planning or preparation that eternal things happen in the lives of people. It's by the power and the Spirit of God. And so I want to encourage you to join us this week in praying that it wouldn't be the efforts of man that would make this event successful, but that God would empower us through the Holy Spirit so that we can have an atmosphere where we lead young people and youth pastors and leaders from the state into an atmosphere where they can encounter God and their lives can be eternally transformed. Thank you for taking time to listen to this, and I look forward to you joining us in prayer this week as we pray that it wouldn't be by might, it wouldn't be by power, but that God's Spirit would help us make the final preparations for Youth Convention. Thank you again, and we'll see you at Oregon Youth Convention.